why Mohozi's Kigali dinner served more than cake for Uganda and Rwanda. Rwanda and Uganda appear to be an on course to Bali the hatched despite a lingering history of tension and conflict including allegations of espionage, political interference and support for hostile rebel groups. This week, Rwandan President Paul Kagame and First Lady Janet Kagame hosted Uganda's first son, General Mohozi Kainilgara, who celebrated his 49th birthday in Rwanda, signaling thawing relations. Kagame's hosting of Mohozi, who is increasingly positioning himself as a successor to his father, President Yoweri Museveni, has renewed optimism for lasting peace between the two countries whose relationship over the last decade has largely been hot and cold amid counter accusations of espionage and economic sabotage. You can have peace but at the same time you may not be friends. This time I think we have both. We are friends and we are at peace. Thanks to you, General Mohozi, for your role in this and for your conviction and for being that bridge we used to close from one side to another. President Kagame said during the exclusive birthday dinner held on April 24th. This recent visit feeds into what many in the region term are the signs of improving relations between Uganda and Rwanda, which had stalled since 1999 when the Uganda and Rwandan armies clashed in Congo, but came on the climax 20 years later when in March 2019, Rwanda closed its border with Uganda almost th for three years. Rwanda had cited security concerns accusing Uganda of supporting exiled Rwandan opposition figures hostile to the Kagame government, including multi million businessman Tribat Lujugilo Ayabatwa, who owns businesses in Uganda. Uganda accuses Rwanda of infiltrating its security. General Mohozi is credited with negotiating the rapprochement between President Kagame and President Museveni leading to the reopening of the border in March 2022. Mohozi has been relentless in a pursuit of reconciliation between the two countries, pledging that Rwanda's enemies will no longer find a safe haven in Uganda. General Kayumba Nyamwasa and RNC I don't know what problems you had in Rwanda with the mainstream, but I warn you not to dare use my country for your adventures," Muhozi tweeted on February 29, 2022, soon after his visit to Kigali. Former Rwandan Lieutenant General Kayumba Nyamwasa, who is exiled in South Africa, is accused of forming a rebel group called P5, which is under the Rwanda National Congress. A report by a UN group of experts dated December 31st, 2018, revealed that Nyamwasa was recruiting fighters and getting ammunition from Burundi, Uganda, and the DRC. To political pundits, despite General Muhozi's numerous visits to Rwanda, this one was special given his entourage. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.